Hey everyone, welcome to the Live Thoughts Camera YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a travel diary. It is about a car road trip from Bangalore city, which is in Karnataka state, to the coastal district of Kannur, which is located in the state of Kerala, India. We left our home after doing all the perimeter checks, just like about two times. I'm actually getting much better. It used to be much, much more before. And by 6.30 a.m., we reached our first pit stop, which was our early breakfast. We had very little as we did not want to travel with a full stomach. And our bungle was piping hot. Please click the eye icon, which is on the top right side corner, to view the review of this A to B restaurant. As this video progresses, there will be more such pop-ups. Do check them out for more information. The drive through the Arakari Forest region was really relaxing. Do enjoy your drive through if you happen to take this route. Since it is a forest area, I do advise you not to do any sort of stops and not to drive very fast. The Spike Rack Restaurant This was recommended by fellow travelers from the team BHP group. We were actually advised to have food here as there would be no major restaurants after this spot. We again just had a very light different breakfast. Within one hour of leaving the restaurant, we hit the winding road. So if you're someone with motion sickness, then you need to prepare yourself. Also the view just changed to greenery all around. The winding road actually became a bit too much for me. And since the road was not that wide either, we did not want to take any chance and stop anywhere. And also the place had a lot of monkeys that come running when you even try to slow down. This is because many people give food. Luckily and suddenly out of nowhere, the road just widens up. And like a lot, and a restaurant is visible. So we stopped here to take a break and stretch our legs. We finally reached our first vacation pit stop, which is a suspension bridge. I think it is called the Kuwait Suspension Bridge. This bridge is really beautiful which of course is surrounded by water that is very gentle flowing. My favorite part here is the sound. It is very calming. Our next stop was a famous temple called the Parasini Kadavu Temple. Even if you're not religious, I would recommend you to visit this place as it is a riverfront temple. The temple also has two ways to reach the riverfront. You can use the outer path. Since it was midday, the heat was just too much for me so we did not spend that much time here. We finally reached our resort. Just the drive leading up to the resort was so nice and clean. I'm pretty sure it is because of the army related bases that were near the resort. The first thing we did was enjoy the view. We did not even unpack nor freshen up. We suddenly realized that it was past 4 pm, so we decided to call room service and order some snacks. We thought of sitting inside our AC room and eating, but our TV was not working. So we went back to our balcony. We just relaxed until it was time for our dinner. As we were super hungry, we were the first ones in the dining hall area. I felt that the room space was a bit small for the number of rooms they had. If you're interested in traveling in India, do check out my India travel playlist to view all my travel related videos. I have covered hotels, restaurants, sightseeing and much more. Our plan was to sleep in a bed and have a relaxed morning. As the previous morning, we were up around 4 a.m. itself. So by 9 a.m., we were all ready and made our way to the dining hall to have breakfast. It was a buffet and it had a variety of veg and non veg food. After finishing our relaxing breakfast, we headed off to our first sightseeing spot, which was just a one minute drive from our resort. It was the Kanur Lighthouse and Museum. Even though it was just around 10 30 a.m., it was already quite hot. So if the heat bothers you, then I would recommend you to carry an umbrella or a sun hat. The museum was pretty interesting and the lighthouse still is in working condition. But you can only see it work at night time. And if you happen to stay in the same resort as we did, then you're going to be lucky as you can actually spot the light at night. The view from the top of the lighthouse is also very beautiful. We decided to head over to a restaurant called MRA for lunch. This was one of the top most referred restaurants by the locals. Since it was so popular, we had to stop here. With a full-filled tummy, we were ready for our next sightseeing spot. 
we went to St. Angelo Fort. This fort is a protected monument and I would definitely recommend people to visit this place. It will be even better if you actually knew its history. Don't forget to check out all my videos related to this car road trip from Bengaluru to Kannur. Our last sightseeing spot for today was another museum called Arakka Museum. After visiting the place, I felt that we should have chosen to visit here first and then go to Angelo Fort as this was not an open museum like the fort. Since we were so close to our resort, we reached our room by evening, just in time to have some snacks and enjoy the AC. We just ordered some juice and empty plates as we had already bought a bunch of local snacks from MRA Bakery. For dinner, we wanted to try another restaurant that was popular. It was a robot-themed based restaurant called the Kibuzo. We tried paratha as the main dish, which is the local cuisine. Enjoying a view from a resort, we took a long stroll around the compound. A very, very long stroll. If you're planning on visiting Kerala state, then this is the playlist for you to view. Early and already at our destination. We wanted to be the first ones here. My hubby, who loves to drive, really enjoyed this spot. This is a drive-in beach called Muzupilanga, which is located between Kannur and Thalassery, which was perfect as the rest of the trip was located in Thalassery, as we anyway had to do a pass-by of this beach. Wikipedia says that this beach is considered as the longest drive-in beach in Asia. Thalassery Fort was not as big and massive as the Kannur Fort, but this place had some calming vibes. It was a nice place to visit and it did not seem to have much tourist people. It actually had some people, but they all seemed to be like localites, just chilling in the cool atmosphere. You cannot leave Thalassery without eating the very popular Thalassery Biryani. My life partner and I are vegetarians by choice. It means we grew up eating non-veg almost every day, but for quite some time, we chose to not eat non-veg food. So we are vegetarians by choice. We could not find any plain or veg version of the Thalassery Biryani, so we tried the Egg Thalassery Biryani from the famous Paris restaurant. After our really early lunch, we walked over to another famous local hall. This was a juice place called Firoz Cool Bar. We tried the famous in-house local drink called a Mixed Shake. I'm not kidding, it was thick, delicious and very refreshing. I had more than one glass and usually during such travel and sightseeing ventures, I try not to drink too much since toilets are really, really hard to find. If you're interested to just visit a particular area like Karno district, then here is your playlist. Gundert Bangalore was our next location. Herman Gundert was the first person to develop the Malayalam dictionary in the 19th century and this is where he lived. So when I heard about this place, I was like, we should definitely add this to the list. We got a bit confused as the road leading up to the bungalow was a bit narrow and we almost did not spot the place as one has to enter the school ground premises. But after all that searching, we still could not see the place as it was shut down for some renovation work. I'm thinking as it was filled with construction related materials. This is another perfect example of how information is so important. We went all the way to this place and it was closed. Some sort of digital information should be made available by the government officials that will have all such details. Since we wrapped up quite early than expected, we cancelled our evening visit to the local clock tower for evening snacks and instead made our way back to Mascot Resort. I guess we were back in about 45 minutes or so and we spent the rest of the time just eating and chilling. We had our dinner in the main hall again. We actually wanted to sit outside, but it was very windy that night. We should have actually taken that opportunity the previous night, but we missed it. If you're like us and you only have time to travel on weekends and you to stay in Bengaluru, then look no further. This is your playlist. We got all packed and ready to hit the road back home to our cats. But first, breakfast. After paying all the bills and before leaving Kannur, we again went to MRA and bought some more local snacks for our friends back home. We stopped at a known stop. Remember Lakeview restaurant? It was a good idea to take a break here before all the winding road starts. The rest of our drive was a mixed combination of amazing views, bad roads and traffic. And in just about, you know, 8 hours time, we were back home. 
These are my top 5 videos of this year, 2021. Did you check them out yet? Links to all the 5 videos are mentioned in the description box. If you're interested in lifestyle, do check out my other videos. Now, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And then hit the bell icon to receive more notifications.